Good day, grade 9 students, and welcome to your science class. Do you still remember Kobe Bryant's last shot of his career? How do you describe the motion of the ball? How do you describe the motion of picture below? Alright, the motion casts a curved path. Now, what influences an object to move in a curved path? That is what we call projectile motion, and this would be our first lesson. Projectile motion is a form of motion experienced by an object or a particle that is projected near the surface of the earth and travels along a curved path that is known as trajectory under the influence of gravity. Once you see projectile, that is an object undergoing projectile motion. And once you say trajectory, that is the arc curve like motion path undergone by a projectile. There are two components of projectile motion, the horizontal and vertical motion. Galileo established that the motion of a projectile is a combination of constant horizontal velocity and vertical motion in which the projectile accelerates at a rate of 9.8 meter per second squared. This is the gravity-free path and the vertical motion. Combining these two components, it will form its vertices. These are the vertices that cast a curved motion or also known as the projectile motion. In a horizontally launched projectile, horizontal velocity is constant. The horizontal velocity component remains the same size throughout the entire motion of the cannonball. The vertical velocity is changing due to gravitational acceleration. The angle at which the object is launched dictates the range, height, and time of flight the object will experience while in projectile motion. Let us analyze the projection of an object in different angle. At 15 degrees, the range may reach up to 5 meters. At the height of 0.3 meter, at a total time of 0.52 seconds. If we raise the projection up to 30 degrees, the range will also increase up to 8.7 meters with a maximum height of 1.2 meter at the total time of 1 second. If an object was projected at 45 degrees, the range will reach up to 10 meters with a height of 2.5 meters at the time of flight of 1.41 seconds. If we increase it into 60 degrees, the range would come up into 8.7 meters at the height or maximum height of 3.7 meters at the time of flight of 1.73 seconds. While in 75 degrees, the range will be back into 5 meters at the height of 4.7 meters with a time of 1.93 seconds. But, if we project an object directly to 90 degrees, there would be no range because the object will just come back to its original point. But, the height will reach up to 5 meters with a total time of 2 seconds. This only show that as the angle increases, the maximum height an object may reach will also increase from 0 from 0 0.3 meters of 15 degrees, it will reach up to 5 meters. 4.7 meters to 75 degrees, 3.7 meters, 460 degrees, 2.5 meters for 45 and 1.2 meters for 30 degrees. The time of flight also increases as the angle increases from 0 0.52 seconds in increase up to 1 second to 1.41 second to 1.73 up to 
1.93 to 2 seconds. For range, it also increases as the angle of projection increases. The longest range recorded was projected from 45 degrees. And the increasing angle after 45 degrees result in decrease of range but higher in the maximum height. Now, which angle produces the same range? Complementary angles is equal to the sum of 90 degrees angle which produces the same range. Example, 75 degrees and 15 degrees. 75 plus 15 that is a total of 90 degrees and based from this image you would notice that they both have the range of 5 meters another example is 60 degrees and 30 degrees 60 degrees plus 30 degrees that is a total of 90 degrees and they both have a record of range of 8.7 and that is all about the components of projectile motion I hope you understand our lesson for today. Stay tuned for our next topic. Goodbye for now.